You mind introducing yourself to us? My name's Sonia, and I've... See what I mean? Why are we making this video, Sonia? Why are we, what are we doing here? To tell a little bit about my story, the past, the present, and the future. Awesome. Um, what was your life like in the past? What was it like before Jesus? Well, I went to church when I was a kid, and I was made to go. I didn't like to go. Um, fought against it the whole way, and when I was old enough to fight against it more, I just stopped going. As I got older, events happened, and I literally despised the church and God. I didn't want to have anything to do with him. I thought church people were hypocrites. I thought God punished people. Um, I didn't like to have anything to do with church. Um, started drinking real heavily. Um, got sober. And in that process, I started learning about a higher power. And I trusted the higher power at that point. Um, so I learned a little bit about God, not much. And then recently I've been, you know, we have a big family. We have eight children, um, a lot of animals, and a lot of events start happening when you have that many children. And a lot of negative, destructive painful events one right after another in a three-year period started happening and it was either I was going to go drink I was going to go die or I was going to go to church and I really believe that God puts things in your life that 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 lead you in a direction I believe I really believe that he has a path for me and he knows that path I would like to know it most of the time but I don't it's not my business right now that's hard to accept, but I have a path, and I didn't want to drink. I didn't want to die, so I went to church, and I made a commitment for one year I was going to go to church. That was really hard for me. I had a friend that, that goes to South Fork, and she, she made dinner for my family when, we were at, when I was in the hospital, She's never at, she's never preached to me. She's never thrown it in my face. But I made her a promise, because she's always asked me to go to church with her. And I made her a promise that I would go to church with her. And I went to church, and I was like, oh my gosh. This preacher is not shoving it down my throat. People at the church were actually nice. They didn't overwhelm me. You know, I had a few say hi to me. And the preacher showed examples that I could understand and I feel like a child in church because I know nothing about the Bible and I learn every time I go and Pastor Jonathan puts it in a way I understand him like it, it's just amazing he talks to he talks to me and with me but not at me and that's real important because I've had Preachers tell me I'm going to hell and I am I'm I'm a sinner and I've been escorted out of a church And I don't feel that way here. I don't feel like it's being shoved down my throat. I Then was so overwhelmed with everything outside. I just I wanted church more I wanted to be there because I felt safe No matter what was you know, nothing really changed still tragedy around me crisis Whatever was going on around me went on around me, but it was different. I was still at peace. No matter what was going on, inside I was okay. And I knew at that point that I believed in God and that I believe He is my Savior. And I believe that, and this is kind of hard for me, that He rose from the grave. But I also believe there are miracles, and I have them all around me. All of my kids are adopted in some way or form, and they're miracles in more, way than you'll, in more ways than you'll ever know. 
and Christ raising, rising from the dead is a miracle. And I think that's where I can understand it better. So I keep going to church and I keep praying about it, which I'm learning to do. And I, when my kids want to come, I bring them with me. And I try to enjoy the church part of my life more than anything. And I don't feel bad anymore. I'm le learning how to pray, which is really hard for me. But I don't feel bad. And I don't under, it's so weird. I don't feel like all this turmoil is affecting me. I'm okay. And that's good. Okay is great. I'm not crying all the time. I'm not, I'm learning how to forgive. <clears throat> and to me, forgiving is the hardest thing to do. And I'm learning. So that's kind of my story. And I hope somebody gets something out of it. That's awesome, Anya. Sonia, thank you for sharing how Jesus adopted you. Yes. Who is Jesus to you? My Lord and Savior. Amen. Thanks for sharing your story, Simon.